Okay, hello. There has been so much trouble trying to just record today. Mercury retrograde can kiss my big juicy ass. Hello, Sagittarius. <laughs> it's your turn. So this is your timeless read for December, January. Um, I said December and January, but this is a timeless read. So whenever you find it, it's for you. All of my reads are timeless. Um, so yes, we are going to do a general read. It's not going to be a love read. Um, for those of you who have watched my previous videos, I did a community voting poll and everyone voted for general reads. No more love reads. So I will give the public what they want, Mr. DeVille. So you guys are going to be getting general reads and the second vote was for twin flame energy updates for the masculine and feminine I, so i will continue to do those but yes we are going to do general reads from now on so welcome to this beautiful sacred space of love and healing don't let the potty mouth fool you and the juicy butts either we up in here sagittarius and we are gonna read for um you know, for you to figure out what's going on with you. All right. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Sagittarius. Okay. I'm about to lose my temper. <laughs> uh, yeah, about to see me go off. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So I was in the middle of filming. And my freaking, an app just turned on and completely shut my video off. One second. Come in. Alright, okay, sorry about that. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Sagittarius. Let's go. So, some of y'all are having some birthday months. Happy birthday. Or it is your birthday month, is what I meant to say. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, what do we got? What do we got for Sagittarius? That's my chair squeaking a squeak a squeak away. Sagittarius, beautiful Sagittarius. What do we got? Yeah, so what, an app just literally opened up on my phone, and I swear to God, like, it stopped my video from recording, and I was like, whoa, okay, this app has way too much power, and I just immediately shut all, all the permissions off for it. I was like, nope, this is my phone, bitch. <laughs> all right, right off the bat, we have Herophant. Don't ask me why. All right, so some of you are, are like working really hard at changing your belief systems when it comes to money. It's like, so for example, if you believed you had to work like really, really hard in order to gain financial wealth, you're going to completely not believe that. <laughs> like you're working on trying to like change your whole belief systems around money and your finances. Okay, if that makes sense. So, like, I see some of you, like, studying the law of attraction and just completely shifting your belief systems around money and how to achieve, you know, your financial stability. Okay. King of Wands. Okay, so there's the hair fan and the Summit of Pentacles. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're still working... But you're just not working as hard as like in the eight, eight of pentacles. Like it's like hard work, hard work. This is more like I've already planted seeds and I already know that my harvest is coming. And I'm not working hard because I already know that I don't have to work really hard to attract things, if that makes sense. So I, I see like, so for example, if some of you were like, you are used to working like really, really hard, you know, then all of a sudden you're like, I don't need to do that anymore. Like, because you've learned through magnetizing things to yourself that you don't have to go out and work really hard to make money. So, this is actually a really good energy. Whoa. Whoa. 
So you do have a lot of really good ships coming in, like, if that makes sense. Like, if you have, for some of you, if you have invested in things, I see those those um, investments working out really well for you. Um, some of you are having a lot of clarity in regards to um, your future, right? There, with the glasses and the three of wands. Some of you could be receiving some kind of news, which will give you clarity about um, your financial situation. You have King of Wands too. So this shows me that whatever it is that you're doing now, Sagittarius, to make finances, you are so stoked about it. Like the King of Wands is about being extremely passionate about what you do. So, you know, if you didn't like your job before, like you love it now. <laughs> you know, the King of Wands is very passionate about what they do. All right, and you're about to receive some clarity and some really good news about this new new adventure, um, whatever you're doing now, like to create financial stability for yourself, if that makes sense. Wow, you have like you have you have good news twice because this is Ace of Wands. So some of you are literally starting a whole new different adventure I want to say adventure like it feels like an adventure but this is some of you are starting over like financial wise like completely starting over like total new job profession okay the ace of wands is about like a a total new um career path right and we have a lot of career cards that are coming out like we have wands 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 pentacles so your your reading is all about your career which by the way is going to be booming and banging <laughs> you're going to receive some really really good news with the ace of wands and it's and it's going to be something that's just going to fuel that fire even more like it's just going to light a fire under you and you're you're just going to be really stoked about this new passion that you're pursuing it's really incredible you have the pen twice. So you could get like a handwritten letter. It could literally be snail mail. Most likely it's an email, Sagittarius, but it's getting me really good news. Okay. And, you know, the Ten of Swords came out right before this Ace of Wands. Okay. So while there might be an, an energy of like, there's going to be like a small setback and you're going to feel like, oh man, maybe I'm not on the right path. And then, boom, you're, you're right back. The universe is going to be like, no, you are on the right path. And they're going to send you something which is going to give you clarity in the form of like a rudder. Uh, uh, rudder. Oh, I hate Mercury retrograde. I cannot stand it. I have been fumbling over my words for like the past two days and it's so annoying. Okay, you're going to get clarity in the form of a letter or some type of feedback which lets you know, Sagittarius, that you have made the right choice. Okay, I'm going to pull two more cards from this deck and then we're moving on. Sweet Lord, how is this going on? All right, what else do we have for Sagittarius? Queen of Swords. See, there we go. There's the clarity again. I just said that, right? With this, this card, you're going to, there's going to be some kind of clear sight, right? Clear sight. Clear sight, clarity, clear, crystal clear, okay? And like, it's going to leave you with this energy of like, there's no doubt to what direction I need to go into, what, what direction I need to fly into. So the Knight of Swords is about pursuing your dreams, you know, with this new clarity, right? Which is in the form of a sword. It's being armed with everything you need, to pursue your goals. This is the sort of intellect, right? It's about being ready to pursue your dreams and to see seeing things from a higher perspective, right? A higher consciousness. The eagle is about a higher perspective. It's a higher state of consciousness. So you're literally taking your new heightened sense of spiritual growth into this new business adventure, if that makes sense. Wow, this is incredible energy. <laughs> like, I'm excited and it's not even my business adventure. Like, I'm just like, woo! <laughs> I just want to jump on that damn eagle too and fly all the way to your freaking abundance train with you, Sagittarius. 
<laughs> this is awesome. Hold on, I need some water. <laughs> this is too much. That's crazy good. It's crazy good. All right, I see you being really excited about your next chapter. Okay, um, we are going to pull a Power of Love activation card. So this doesn't necessarily have to do with like romantic love. It can be, but it's more, um, these are more cards about love in general. You know, platonic, romantic, um, activations of gifts in regards to how you love the world and humanity and how you show up, okay? If that makes any sense. All right, what do we got for Sagittarius, the beautiful fire sign of Sagittarius? All right, we have elevation. I just said that. Seeing from a higher state of consciousness, right, with the eagle. Damn, I'm so good. I'm so good. I need a horn, so every time I just do good and I, I know that I know what the fuck I'm talking about, I can just toot it and go toot toot. I swear to God, because I don't even need these cards. Bye. No. <laughs> and there goes my humble attitude right out the damn door. Okay. Elevation. You are making the conscious decision to raise your vibration of love. I told you. So because you're in this heightened state of consciousness, you've reached a different level of consciousness that most people have not achieved, Sagittarius. So because you're way up here, okay, there we go, way up here, you've elevated your, your frequency and your vibration to this like, oh, state of awareness. <laughs> you are at the highest level and vibration of love. It's so giddy. Like, I literally feel giddy right now. I just want to, like, jump up and start dancing on this tarot table. I won't do that. But maybe in another read, I will. One of these days. <laughs> but I feel so giddy and, like, extremely happy. Like, connecting to your energy. It's just so good. So. All right. And I don't know if I welcomed you to my sacred space here. <laughs> like, normally I'm like... Hey, it's Bunny. Welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. And I feel like we missed that because I feel like the camera like interrupted us and then we missed it. So if I missed my little introduction, Sagittarius, welcome. Welcome to this sacred space where I, I <laughs> elevate your consciousness while also, you know, treating your ears to a whole lot of trucker garbage and trash. <laughs> you get the best of both worlds with Bunny, right? All right, what else we got? Um, let's go, let's dive right back into the tarot. So this is the dragon tarot, which I felt guided to use for all the signs this month. All right. So if you don't remember, the reason I'm doing a general read and not a love read is because of the community poll that I posted. Everybody voted for a general reads and not love reads anymore. And the second runner up was the twin flame energy updates for the masculine and feminine. So I will continue to do those. But from now on, I will be doing general reads and not love reads. Next month, I may put another voting poll up. So if you guys want to go back to seeing the love reads, you better vote. If not, I'm going to continue to do the reads like this. For me, they're more interesting like this anyways, because I there's a variety of subjects I can talk about, and I don't have to just stick to, like, lovey-dovey, right? Okay. And I can be more creative. I have a creative outlet. Excuse me. I am so gassy today. I just keep burping. The hanged man. So, again, we're talking about your elevated state of consciousness, right? This is about elevation, it's about a heightened sense of awareness. It's about a heightened consciousness, an elevated consciousness, right? A higher state of consciousness. It's beautiful. You're being held by the hand of Source God, right? It's incredible. Wow, a Ten of Pentacles. So if you were worried at all about this business venture, right, and if you're feeling like you had to take a pause and take a breather, 
I mean, you can, you know, this is about wanting to take a pause and wanting to like take a step back. You can do that. Either way, financial wise, you're set, Sagittarius. Look at this, 10 of pentacles. This is wealth. <laughs> so if you had any questions or any doubts about whether or not your new business or your new ad business adventure is going to thrive, it is very, very well. You know, and whether you decide to just keep working super duper hard, which I don't, I, you don't have to. All right. You could literally just sit back and hang from a damn dragon tongue like this fool's doing and the money would just flow nonstop because you've reached such a beautiful level of elevation in your higher state of consciousness that the law of attraction is just working so beautifully for you. It's the universe is just flinging money at you. It's just throwing it. It's just like, here, Sagittarius. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's crazy. Like, seriously. If you're not doing well financially, I would be very freaking surprised. Look at this. Three of Cups. So this is like emotional bliss and joy. That's what this is. This is like a feeling of constant bliss, joy, happiness, celebrating your success. Yes. All of this, Sagittarius, all of this. I'm just going to sit in this energy all damn night. I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to celebrate with you. Let's celebrate our successes together. My channel has been doing fucking fantastic. I am so blessed. It, I have put so much blood, sweat, and tears into this channel for five fucking years. And I am just starting to see it finally start to blossom into what I believe it should be. And I am so grateful. You guys are the best. That just goes to show you when you love what you do, when you do what you love. Boom. Four of swords. So look at literally Sagittarius. <sighs> okay. Shut up. <laughs> first of all let me talk <laughs> you have four of swords this is the energy of like resting the universe is literally saying rest meditate and and the money is just gonna come you're you don't need to bust your butt so hard look we have two cards of resting and meditation this card represents meditation so does this card this card represents a resting and a pause and so does this one boom and it's surrounded in the middle by money and success and ecstasy and bliss you cannot fail this is your december is your month and january 2024 is your fucking year everything is going to be so incredible in your life can i just say that this energy feels i literally feel like i'm drunk or something <laughs> the energy is so good i'm going to do two more cards in this deck and we're done like you I just want to say I, I think I'm going to call your reading like euphoria or something because that's what it feels like it's like it's like euphoria for real you guys are good to go page of pentacles so whatever it is that you have learned and taught yourself you know it's going to help you with this new enterprise it's You've already laid the foundation, right? You've already learned everything you need to know to get started. You don't need to, you know, you can, of course, life is, is a learning journey. And, you know, you don't ever want to stop learning because once you feel like you're done learning, then you're done living, basically. You know what I'm saying? You should never get to the point where, like, you feel like you're done learning and you know everything about the universe. But basically, you've learned enough at this point to get started and to be very successful. My nose is so stuffy. I, don't, I hope I'm not getting a cold. I have two sick kids right now. My daughter has an ear infection. My son has a cold. And now my nose is starting to get stuffy. And I'm really hoping that I don't get sick. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Shut up. I'm done. Four of Wands. Sagittarius, I literally just said you guys are going to be set financially. Boom, there it is. Four of Wands. So, four of you have, oh my God, I can't even, I'm so excited, I can't even talk. You have Four of Wands and you have the Ten of Pentacles. You better get excited because let me tell you, Four of Wands is about stability. It's about having a stable home, having a nice car, um, having financial stability, money in the bank, money to spare. It's about having 
the foundations of stability and success. It's a really incredibly beautiful energy to be in. It's like you don't have to worry anymore because you are financially stable. We have two cards of financial stability, four of wands and ten of pentacles. And ten of pentacles represents a lot of stability. Like it's wealth. It's a rich card. You know, the ten of pentacles is the card of the millionaire and the billionaire. It's basically like you're rich. You don't have to worry about anything ever for the rest of your life. You know, it's like the legacy card. You know what I'm saying? You and your children are going to be set for life. It's... Oh my goodness. It's beautiful, Sagittarius. I, I love it so much for you. <laughs> I do. I just, I love it. I literally got so freaking excited. And look at, I, I wanted to see what was in the bottom of the deck and boom, it's the sun. This is the most, one of the most happy cards you can get in the deck. It represents complete and utter peace, bliss, Look, it, it's like being like a naked little baby, like so happy, like naked baby butt happy. <laughs> like, like the innocence of when you're first born, you're laying there naked butt on the grass and you you don't have to worry about anything other than like being naked with your baby butt on the grass, like playing in the baby butt grass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Goo goo gaga, like sucking on your thumbs and stuff, like in the in the daisies. Look at this; it's complete and utter bliss. It's just like it's like I don't have anything to worry about. I'm a baby; all my needs are met. My mom who brings me, you know, booby milk, and I'm happy. I get a nap whenever I want. I get to throw toys and scream "mommy" whenever I want, and nobody tells me what to do. I'm just a baby, <laughs> right? Oh my god, my nose is so stuffy. And I'm just so happy still. It's ridiculous. Okay, we're done. <laughs> that was absolutely ridiculous, said Cherries. Okay, but 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 you basically get the idea. Like, this is so good. Like, the energy is literal euphoric. I'm seriously going to call your reading, like, euphoric bliss or something like that. All right, we're going to do a career portion as if we need to. But, yeah, we're going to. Hold on. Oh, my gosh. And so much salt today, and I'm so thirsty now. This is why I don't eat a lot of salt. It's terrible. But every once in a while I do, and then I regret it. Totally. All right. So for those of you who are entrepreneurs or work for yourself or have your own business, let's do a card for you first. The entrepreneurs, the Sagittarian entrepreneurs, the ones who work for themselves, the bosses, the big D energy, focus on your priorities. All right, and now let's see what the advice spirit has for those of you who work in nine to five or work for someone else, okay? <clears throat> All right, what do we got for those Sagittarius's? For those that work for someone else or work in nine to five, no more complaining. <laughs> oh my God, you can't make it up. It's so funny. I can't take it. I can't take it. I can't take it. All right. So for the entrepreneurs, we have focus on your priorities. Let's see if I can get them to focus. Haha, <laughs> no pun intended. When you, where you put your focus is where you receive your outcome. Your priorities are calling to you. Which may produce the feeling of anxiety. <laughs> Unless you give them the time and attention they and you deserve. Oh gosh. Even a small amount of time devoted to your priorities will help you feel better and more confident. So this is about prioritizing your, you know, your list of things to do. So it's like, narrow it down, Sagittarius. What is the most important thing you need to do? Write it down. Focus on that and let everything else go. Please, please just be chill because I promise you everything, you're on the right path. Everything is going 
extremely well. Financial wise, you're going to be fine. And I feel like you're just over stressing because you're like, I have this to do, I have this to do, I have this to do. Have. And really you don't. Just let everything come to you because I feel like once you let go of control and sort of just chill out, everything's just going to come to you. The right clients, the right people, the right opportunities, the right business, the right money. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just relax. <laughs> let it come. Okay? When you have to make a list of things to do, write down the one most important thing to do. Get that done. And then just sort of let everything sort of fall by the wayside unless it's like super duper important because you're you're putting too much energy in a bunch of bullshit, okay? All right. No more complaining. This is for those of you who work a nine to five or work for someone else. Complaints are affirmations of victimhood. Nobody wants that, which is never true spiritually. Take back your God-given power by affirming that you have your abundance of choices and freedom, okay? That you have an abundance of choices and freedom. You do have choices. If you don't want to work a matrix job, you don't have to. I'm just saying. This is your confirmation, okay? With your increased confidence and assertiveness, watch these positive affirmations blossom into reality. Okay, so basically, you know, they're saying you can take back your God-given power by affirming that you have choices and freedom so you do have the freedom to choose and just continue to tell yourself that you have the freedom to tell someone you know assertively to kiss your ass you know if you don't want to work for them you can say you know what i'm asserting my my ability to make a choice and i choose to tell you to kiss my ass <laughs> don't do that <laughs> Please don't do that. Don't don't quit your job and say Chakra Bunny told me to quit my job and affirmed my boss that, you know, I have I'm asserting my ability to tell him to kiss to tell you to kiss my ass. Don't do that. Don't don't do that. <laughs> Please don't do that. I don't need you suing me because you're like, well, she told me to do this and I did it and now I, you know, don't have a job or whatever. But I mean, in on a serious note though, you do have choices. And if something doesn't feel right, you have a choice to walk away or to stay, right? We're never trapped. It is only an illusion in our minds. As long as we can affirm, I have the right to choose my job and what I do to create matrix money, to create money energy, right? You do. You have the freedom to walk away, to stay, to make a different choice. You always have the right to choose. So what complaining does is just reaffirms that you're a victim. And you're so not. You're not. You're not a victim. You have so many uh, choices and paths that you can go down, Sagittarius. Okay? So if there's something you don't like about your job, don't complain about it. Just go. Or if you don't like it, then do something about it. You know, stop being a baby. <laughs> I love you, Sagittarius, but I'm always going to tell it like it is. If you don't like it, there's no need to complain about it. If you don't like it, just change it. Change it. Quit. Change it. Do something differently, right? You don't have to stick around. You don't. You always have a choice. All right? But complaining is just going to make your day worse. Okay? You're going to get stuck in this loop of like, I don't have a choice. I have to stay at this job because I have bills to pay. And that's baloney. I'm sorry, but it is. Everybody has a choice. You know, allow the universe to lead your way. It takes a whole lot of us to be brave and trust the universe. I love you, Sagittarius. You know that. I freaking love you so much. All right. If something resonated or if you hate me, <laughs> still sm <laughs> smash the like button because it helps me in the algorithm. And then more people can find my videos and also hate my guts. <laughs> <laughs> or they can also love me. Share with all your super cool Sagittarius friends, you know, so they can either love or hate me or make, they can make the choice to love or hate me, right? Y'all all have choices, okay? <laughs> so um, you can have the choice to support me. I also have um, a Patreon. It's like $5 a month. It's not going to break your pocket, okay? You can, I have two different tip jars. You can tip me. If you can't do any of those financial support, you can subscribe and like, those are completely free, right? Hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. If you do, by chance, want to check out my Etsy shop, that's linked below to all of my, like, 
links so that you can connect with me, Instagram, all that stuff, TikTok, all it's linked below. If you want to book a reading with me too, all of those are in the description box below my video. Everything is linked below my video. All right, I love you Sagittarius.